Hello. In this video, we will go ahead and understand how should you go ahead and prepare for the entrance exam of Delhi School of Economics. Now, you know, a lot of students, uh, while they are in their fourth semester, start thinking as to what should be the process for the next one, one and a half years for you to go ahead and crack this big entrance exam of Delhi School of Economics. And not only this, in fact, entrance exams like ISI, IIT JAM, GATE. For all of these entrance exams, students start thinking what should be the process ahead. What should be the way ahead? To begin with, one thing that I always suggest the students is to be consistent. You're not being asked to do a lot. You're being asked to do little, but you have to do it every day. So what you should be doing is every day you should be picking up on one chapter not also the complete chapter pick up on let's say four topics of the chapter five topics of the chapter but be consistent if your aim is to go ahead and complete one chapter so for example let's say variant variant has 36 chapters that you want to go ahead and complete Let's say that your aim is to complete a one chapter in three days. And you have 36 days. 108 days. You will be able to complete entire variant. You have to do your bit every day. You have to be consistent. You don't have to go ahead and leave a single day. You should not be thinking, okay, let me not do it today. I will do the today's part and tomorrow's part tomorrow. No, you have to maintain consistency while studying. Don't delay. Don't put your work to tomorrow, to the future. What is aligned for today should be completed today. This is like going ahead and, you know, doing a weight loss program, bodybuilding. You have to go ahead and do your bit every day. You cannot skip days and think that you will do it in the future. Make timetable. You should have one timetable in place. That today, I am going to go ahead and every day, I'm going to dedicate three hours, 1.5 hours to micro, 1.5 hours to maths. In 100 days, I will be completely thorough with entire micro and maths. And this is nothing. I, out of 365 days, I've only consumed 100 days. Then I will do a similar timetable and I will start with macro and statistics. And then again, next 100 days, I will do macro and statistics together. So you have to go ahead and make a timetable and you have to ensure that you follow that timetable on daily basis. Do at least two subjects at one go. See, why do we call out to do two subjects in a go? Because maths and micro a lot of times go hand in hand. So the first two subjects that you should pick up to be done should be maths and micro. Connect dots. Very important. What you will see is a lot of times when in micro you go to the chapter 5, this is very related to chapter 4, related to chapter 3. Only if I know indifference curves, I will know utility functions. If I know utility functions, I will know how to make choice. If I know choice, I know how to calculate the demand equation. If I know demand, I can only then do step three. So all the chapters would be related to each other. Similarly in maths. And then maths and micro will also be related to each other. 
only if i know differentiation and lagrange i can do micro optimization so as you go from one chapter to another you should go ahead and connect dots it's not that you should forget the previous chapter while studying the next chapter you have to think aloud you have to think what you did in the previous chapter only then you will go to the next chapter don't keep past years for the end i don't suggest doing this if you have covered your consumer theory all questions of the past years related to consumer theory must be done then and there you must cover the entire consumer theory questions along with the chapters without leaving that for the future do workbooks and assignment so here when i say that you should give 3 days to one chapter of varian ideally you you should be giving 1.5 days to studying that chapter and the remaining 1.5 days to doing all the back questions and the questions from the workbook of varian if you are doing instead of varian snider then you should give 2 days to reading the chapter and one day to doing all the back questions of snider in detail so you know not to studying is okay but you have to practice you have to do all questions of maths and micro you have to cover all the assignments that are given to you only then you will understand how to appear for an exam so for example let me give you a very good example here usually students are very clear with what are substitute goods they are clear with what are complementary goods but when a student is given this function min 2x plus y y uh, x plus 2y if you have never seen this question in the past if you have never practiced the kink demand curves in the past you will not be able to solve these questions even though you have gone through the entire book so you have to go ahead and solve the questions you have to go ahead and do all the assignments only then you will be able to go ahead and sit for the exam revision don't keep reading new topics till the very last moment you should keep enough time for your revision revise the concepts well sit in environment exam like environment this is something i suggest all my students to do when you have never sat in an exam like environment and you directly go ahead and you directly give the exam there are very much chances that you will have you will get to panic you will just panic you should give yourself enough time before the exam to practice mock tests to sit in an environment which is exam like to do at least 10 mock test sit for those 3 hours in a locked room and only do the test like you are sitting for the final exam make a list of the topics you find easy and difficult you should know which topics would take more time for you to revise and which topics will take less time for you to revise in the future make a vision board where do you see yourself in the coming time period in the next one year when you graduate where do you want to see yourself where do you want to see yourself post that and once you have this vision in your mind then try to go towards that vision keep alternatives this is something i tell all the students to do you should not be dropping your ear in case you are not able to go get through dsc or isi what are the alternatives you should be applying for all those entrance exams also ashoka terry jnu jamia isi iit uh, sau msc so you for you say right uh, gokhale right so you should keep enough alternatives in hand and don't worry even those alternatives will help you seek a good future christ so it's much better to go ahead and 
to you know apply for masters somewhere rather than dropping one of your year so it is a good idea to keep alternatives and apply for all those entrance exams also